This year, on Hell's Kitchen, 15 aspiring chefs arrived in Los Angeles. Hell yeah, baby. Eager to learn from the best. Whoever I have to step on, I can do that. I'm here to win. They thought they knew what was in store for them. I'm the Blackboard Ramsey. But once they were inside... Jean-Philippe, it's time to open Hell's Kitchen. It's me. <laughs> the chefs quickly discovered they were in for a wild ride. <laughs> Of highs. That was the best ever. I already feel like a winner. And lows. Get out! Get out! I will get better, and I will fight for it. That's why it's just me. Stand back! Stand back! Yeah, break of my heart into pieces right now. I've never, never felt so. Fifteen started, and only two remained. Troisa, Steve, congratulations. This is a wonderful dream come true. Then, last week, all the finalists began their most important task. Now, you'll each create your own restaurant. Designing every detail of their new restaurant. They wanted to use warm colors, rich chocolate. Including the menus. I love Chilean sea bass. It's one of my favorite things to put in my mouth. Then, it was off to New York. Look at that. Oh for a visit to Chef Ramsay's restaurant. Are you ready for your final challenge? Yes, yes. Chef. I had no idea we were going to be cooking. The chefs prepared their signature dishes, and the winner of the challenge was... Patricia. I needed to win. I needed to push it over. Petroza's win gave him first choice of the returning chefs. I'm going to take Bobby. The teams were quickly chosen. Boy, come on over. It's Ben. I'm going to pick Lou Ross. Until it got down to the final two. Jen and Matt. Big choice. Tonight, the moment you've been waiting for, Christina, the culinary student from Missouri, takes on Petroza, the catering chef from North Carolina. Will win an executive chef position worth a quarter of a million dollars in Chef Ramsay's new Los Angeles restaurant. Find out tonight. On the count of three. On the season finale of Hell's Kitchen. Open the door to your dream. of Hell's Kitchen. Petroza. Yes, Chef. Your last pick. Who's it going to be? Jen or Matt? Matt is a freaking lunatic. And Jen? She could be a bitch. That's a tough decision. I don't want to be picked last. Petroza, please, you got to pick me, bud. Please, please, please. My pick is Jen. I definitely know that the reason I was picked second to last is because how strong of a leader I am and they don't want to be outshined by me in their kitchen, but that's going to happen anyway. Good choice, Petrosa. I'm going to fight for is. you tonight, baby. I know I'm it is. For... I know it is. Thank God Petrosa took Jen. I don't like her. I don't trust her. I don't want her on my team. Christina, your last pick. Yes, Chef. Who are you going to pick? Come on over, Maddie. All right. All right. All right, All right. When Matt's on, he's on. When Matt goes down, he goes down hard. But with a little bit of encouragement, I think he'll really shine. Hopefully. Now, discuss the menu, the vision, and start putting the most important night of your entire cooking careers together. Tonight is the night. Off you go. With just 10 hours to go before their restaurants open, Christina and Petroza bond with their teams. Okay, it's three acts, three entrees, three desserts. Okay. I feel freaking great about my team. We're going to cook our heart out. We've got the strongest team. Petroza is like the nicest guy you ever want to meet. I think Petroza will win tonight. He's the more seasoned chef, and people like working for Petroza. 
you know, we're all going to have to chip in on that. Me, Petroza, and Bobby were tight, but I never worked with Jen on the team, so I hope she's got a good head on her shoulders when it comes to being at the kitchen. I want to have a good, enjoyable service it's all with you guys, do. with my friends. I can't believe Chef Ramsay didn't give me the opportunity to have a spot in the final two. I'm definitely the most well-rounded and strongest chef here, so I don't know what he was thinking. Jen isn't eager to work for a former competitor, but she's not the only one. Maddie, you know, I've seen you good and I've seen you bad. Christina made my jaw drop. That girl had an attitude. I have no respect for her. You don't just get respect, you gotta earn it. Matt. I love your risotto idea. You sold the shit out of it, so I thought we should do it again. You were my inspiration, you know, for this dish and for this station. So I really want you to make it yours, you know? You actually matured a little, so I'm actually going to call you chef. I wasn't about going to, but now you earned my respect just now. Okay. Did I build it for him? No. But he bought it like hook, line, and sinker, you know, which is great. So here's where I see us going. Corey, how can I not put you on me? Blue Ross, you've got so much energy. I see you on apps. No one has ever had a perfect service, and I think we can. While Christina lays out her carefully planned strategy, Petroza takes a different approach. Nothing's prepped. Nothing's prepped. I haven't even seen anything yet. So, P, what's wrong, Petroza? What's wrong with you? Petroza, I'm telling you, you definitely want to get organized. You have to have it all written down. We can post that right up on the refrigerator. We can post this. You want to post this? I mean, it was just all chicken scratching, thrown together, and... Uh. I'm a tiny bit overwhelmed. Being a prep chef for Petroza is like people playing a violin when the Titanic was going down. That's how I feel right now. With only six hours to go before the doors to Hell's Kitchen open, both teams begin their dinner service prep. All right, you guys, this is it. Now it's working on the pureed peas. We need to reduce that white wine. Although construction has been going around the clock, both restaurants are still behind schedule. Christina. Oh. Let's do a quick review of where we are because we need to make some hard decisions. John, what are we looking at? I was a little worried last night when I came in and there was like stripes and everywhere. I didn't know the wallpaper was striped. Oh, they look so ugly. We didn't do the fronts yet. I don't know if we can comb it with the gold or... In order to make sure that we can finish this on time, I would recommend chocolate brown all the way around. Never worked with the designer before. It's frustrating as all get out. Let's go chocolate brown. My restaurant has to be done by the time we open. And not just done, the paint has to be dry. I mean, most important is get it done. While Christina's concerned about her color scheme, Petroza has bigger problems. Right now, I can't even get a hold of our booth upholstery. What do we call the muscle? Can we send Bobby over there to take care of it? We're working on it. I have to trust John as a designer. But you know what? I don't want to be scrambling at the last minute. With Petroza out of the kitchen, Jen puts her energy into prepping. Chef Ramsey. For her future. Jen. Can you write me a letter of recommendation? Can I what? Write me a letter of recommendation. A letter of recommendation? Yeah. A reference? Yeah. Jen's over there asking Chef Ramsey if she could have a letter of recommendation. Yeah. Serious? Jen pulls Chef Ramsey aside, which I thought was just really classless. You know, whatever you think honestly of me, mine is my big mouth. Come on, dude. I hate her. I officially hate her. <laughs> While Jen's mind is elsewhere, Matt's mind. Cheryl and Taragon sit within the tree. Matt is unstable. He's delusional and he's a little bit psychotic. <laughs> Still need to get the big chutney working. Oh, yeah, Mr. Bedard got the chutney working. Hey, Matt, in about 10 minutes, I need you to be done with the pea puree, okay, bud? Now, you said you want to be the pea in the puree? Christy, I'm telling you, for your own sake, you need to tell us got to get more serious because he's f***ing around, dude. Whatever you say, Corey. Hey, guys. Good to get together for one day. Matt, if you are going to bring down the entire kitchen with your attitude, then you can just f*** off, really. Seriously, Matt, you better get your together. Don't worry about my, my together. I'm you on and your that. comments no, I'm on that. You're piss me off. While Christina takes a hands-on approach with Matt, Petroza has his hands full with Jen. Are you all right, Jen? Uh, um, yeah. Jen, how long on that risotto, sweetheart? My name is Jen, not sweetheart, and it's a minute and a half. Jen has been in a pissy mood. She wants to be in the winner's circle, but she's not. I'm sorry, Jen, you just, you just didn't make it. Get over yourself. You good, Jen? Jen? You need help? If I need help sweeping, I definitely wouldn't trust me to work online. Jen's being a bitch 
and pouting and doing the same dance that we all know her for. Stick with me, okay, mentally. Just don't fade. Don't fade away, all right, Jen? If Jen smarts off, I'll throw Jen out in a second. Coming up. Come on, now we're backed up now. At dinner, pressure quickly mounts. Uh... It was a nightmare. I'm gonna stop in a minute, Petrosa. And both Christina and Petrosa try to hold it together. Matt, come on! Shut up. Petrosa, you got one fish in your kitchen. Dan, just try to cook the food. Who will rise above it all? Come on! Perfect food! Check everything before it comes in. And claim the opportunity of a lifetime. Open the door to your dreams. The final dinner service fast approaching. Petroza has his hands full managing personalities in the kitchen. Jen, you need help? If I need help sweeping, I definitely wouldn't trust me to work a line. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm just like, put your head down and cook. Just do what you got to do to get the hell out of here for this last time. So guys, we are one. We are one. There's just one hour before the doors of Hell's Kitchen will open. And Chef Ramsay is now ready to review the dishes from Christina and Petroza's menus. Okay. Where's the menu, please? The finalists have each prepared three entrees, three appetizers, and three desserts. Christina's starters will feature a trio of beef sliders, and her entrees will include a grilled New York strip steak with herbed compound butter and sweet corn succotash. For dessert, she's including a tropical sundae with roasted pineapple and macadamia nut brittle. Okay, sliders. What are they? It's all beef. Mm -hmm. All beef. They're delicious. But I'm just trying to think why you'd eat all three beef. You know, if you've done one um, tuna burger and one veal burger, I want to have some excitement behind them. Okay. He would have rather seen, I think, different proteins. It's too late for that. So we've got to make do with what we've got. I don't care. Where's the rubber rosemary on there or a little rubber garlic? Sex them up a little bit. Okay. This is your New York strip. A big clump of meat, it's fine. But two or three slices, it looks like you care. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Dessert? Uh, it's yeah. a tropical sundae, coconut sorbet, and academia nut brittle as the garnish. Fantastic. Why don't you sort of um, bash that up a little bit and sprinkle it on top? Sounds good. You go that extra mile. It's not about playing safe. It's about really pushing the boundaries right. out. It was a strategy to be reasonably simple. I don't like things that are overcomplicated. But it was also to produce food that my kitchen could cook. Thank you. All right. Petrosa's appetizers include a lobster strudel, and his entrees feature a filet mignon with caramelized risotto and a crispy onion ring. Petrosa's desserts include a vanilla souffle with a whiskey creme anglaise. All right, let's get through. Appetizers. Uh, the lobster strudel, and it's actually a uh, vanilla lobster sauce on there. Cream and eggs, lobster, shallot, sherry. Texture inside. What have you done to that? It's like it's overcooked and curdled. I think I could work on that a little bit. Okay, good. Okay, next. This is the uh, the grilled filet mignon mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. onion risotto. Mm -hmm. Beef, lovely. Risotto, it's too stiff. Yeah. Don't be scared to do a nice big onion ring on top of the beef. And, and let your risotto go natural on the plate. Nice, okay. Yeah, so it's acting as a sauce and it's okay. creamy and it's okay. delicious. I think it's of the utmost importance to take Chef Ramsay's advice. He's phenomenal. And he not only does he give you advice, but he tells you why. And finally, uh, the uh, vanilla souffle mm -hmm. with the whiskey creme anglaise. Very brave doing the souffle. Good. That is how I serve my souffle. Nice. Okay. Well, we've got some corrections to make, but we're going to be able to recover from it. And now's the time to fix it. Okay. Two completely conflicting menus. Petrosa's, for instance, has gone for really highly imaginative food. Very dangerous. If he pulls this menu off, it could be highly successful. It's beautiful. Christina, on the other hand, has played somewhat safe. Almost a bit of a sort of plain Jane. If she turns it up a notch, she can make that food exciting. It's really important that both kitchens start perfecting their food. With the opening of Hell's Kitchen just 30 minutes away, the booths for Petrosa's restaurant have finally arrived. Meanwhile, Christina's restaurant has been completed and is ready for Chef Ramsay's review. Christina, show me the dining room, please. Yes, Chef. I wanted it to be elegant but yet comfortable. put in some big comfortable chairs and wanted you to feel like you were somewhere special. Quite contemporary. Mm -hmm. Chairs are really comfy. I know, um, that was they're my favorite part. Right. Quite a light, um, vibrant, um, almost summery feel. It's quite elegant looking. I thought the candles and the sconces would sort of jazz it up a little bit. Uh, very LA. You should be proud. It was hard work. Uh, it was great. It was. I thought my restaurant looked beautiful. Really nice. We totally redid everything.
Right, uh, Petrosa, show me your restaurant. Yeah, turn me around. What's the experience? Oh, the English, it's got his warmth. It's rustic. Yeah, it's, rustic, it's not yeah. contemporary. It yeah. is nice, elegant. I feel comfortable. You've got a wonderful vibrance on mm -hmm. the table. Flowers everywhere. I like brick. I like rustic. But I like the flowers, so I felt like it was a good mix. It makes it romantic and a place where the guys could come, too. Yeah. I love the fireplace. I think it's my favorite part. I feel like I'm in the middle of the Hamptons. Chef Ramsay has the absolute highest standards of any chef I've ever met. And if he liked my restaurant, yeah. it means everything. Hey, well done. It looks lovely. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck. Ready to go. Just minutes away from the most important service of their lives, Chef Ramsay has some final words of advice for Christina and Petroza. The next service for one of you will be in my LA restaurant. One of you will become the executive chef. It doesn't get any bigger than this. I'll be watching both of you very carefully how you handle your brigade, how you handle pressure. Not the first ticket, not the second ticket, every ticket. Good luck. Thank you. In two minutes from now, I'm opening house kitchen. Great. Right. Let's go. Good luck. You guys ready? This is you tonight, baby, all right? This is you. Come on, guys. It's our last service. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. Manny, Matt. Climb it up. Come on. Next three hours, we're going to change all of our lives. Tonight's service is the most important service of my life. By a thousand. By... By 250,000, actually. Good luck, guys. Well, let's do it. Let's get busy. All right, guys, here we go. I'm ready. Let's do this. How many people have to work for years to get what's at the end of this day? I only have to work really hard for one more day. Bring it on. I am ready. Let's go, guys. All right, team. Here it goes. Just moments before Hell's Kitchen is set to open, Christina and Petroza have a final talk with their teams. We have 13 tables tonight. So we have 13 tables to be perfect. Yep. Bump up the energy. Keep it up. Keep going. All we have to do is cook food. Open it up, dude. I'm ready to go. Are you okay, Matty Matt? You're quiet. What's going on? I'm just concentrating on the task at hand. I feel good about my team right now, but I'm a little iffy on Matt because he's so unpredictable. I just have to give it everything I got and hope that my team does as well. All right, come on, guys. It's our last service. No mistakes. Leave this kitchen. You guys ready? As far as what we do, this is the biggest three hours of all of our lives. Okay, let's man up, guys. What about woman in up? Jim, she just got a poor attitude. You can see it right on her face. So hopefully she don't disturb the team too much. Good luck. Absolutely. Knock him dead. Petrosa, here we go, yes? Right, Christina, let's go, yes? Okay, Jean-Philippe. We said? Open house kitchen, please. <laughs> Tonight, Christina's Elegant Bistro will go head-to-head -head with Petroza's Rustic Club Room. Each kitchen will serve 13 tables with 50 diners. Hi, Customer reviews, along with Chef Ramsay's observations, will determine who wins the executive chef position in Gordon Ramsay's new restaurant, the London West Hollywood, a position worth a quarter of a million dollars. I have the monster squirrel. I would like the tagliatelle. Thank you. All right, very first table, four covers, table 43. Say it loud and proud. Appetizers, I need two arugula salads, one tagliatelle, two sliders, Corey. Yes, chef. Yes. Here we go. First order of your last service. It's exciting, but it's also stressful because getting off to a good start is paramount. I need it in about four minutes, okay? Burgers are in, guys. We're on four minutes till burgers are up. Four, four minutes, hard. Uh-oh, you filling up out there, Patrosa? You filling up? Lottery, listen up. Table 24, three guests. One strudel, one sweet bread, one frisee salad. Hey, yes. It's do or die. It's do or die. The next three and a half hours is going to decide the uh, fate of my uh, life. Bob, right, you got your strudel in, pal. Three minutes for the strudels, Patrosa. Okay, let's have them. Got off to a really great, vibrant start. Both kitchens now have got tickets underway, and the energy levels are great. Now, for me, the most important part is the finish. If they can keep up this momentum and that level of energy, that's going to decide the winner. Guys, we need to pick these appetizers up. All right, the salad is coming up right now. All right, go, go, go. It's our one last night in Hell's Kitchen, and, you know, I really want to help Christina win tonight, so I'm going to do everything in my power to do that. 30 seconds. Let's go. Thank you. Salad's in the window. Sliders, whenever you're ready. Sliders coming up now. Two sliders. 
Thanks. They look nice, the sliders. They look appetizing. Thank huh? you, Chef. All right, service, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on, guys, this is a great start. Let's keep going. Keep it up. Christina has gotten her brigade off to a strong start. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's too strong. Now the pressure's on Bobby to deliver his appetizers to Petroza. Okay, Bobby, I want to put these apps out. I'm going to need that strudel quick, fast, and in a hurry, man. All right, Petroza. He definitely went for an impressive menu. It's a problem executing that stuff, but I'm going to keep cool, and I'm just going to cook my ass off. Thanks, right? Yeah, cool, cool. And Bobby, this is called, this is called. We're not going to be able to do it like this, you guys. I need you to put it together, a little foil on, and reheat in the convection. If anything goes by me or went out wrong, it's ultimately my fault. I let it go by. Check, check it before you comes to me. Check it all. Check everything before it comes to me. Stick your finger in everything. Touch everything. Taste everything. This is absolutely crucial now. It's good to see that Petroza has quality control. He's not happy with Bobby Strudel. He sent it back. He's got to be over your brigade. You run them or they run you. Strudel in a frise. How long to the window? Right uh -huh. now, right now. A hot strudel in a frise. Yeah. Five frise right after that, Bobby. On the pass with the strudel. Coming to the window. Three strudel and one frise. Keep them hot. Keep them hot. Much better, Bobby. Yeah, like that every time, Bobby. Like that every time. Thanks, pal. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm back in the saddle. This is my backyard. I'm a four-star general. Petroza needs me. So it was just like riding a bike. Pick up, please. Bobby's second attempt at the lobster strudel leaves the blue kitchen. It's delicious. And Petroza's quality control has paid off. Now Christina is feeling the pressure. Come on, guys. We need to pick this up a notch. Appetizers, how long? Three minutes, chef. Three minutes. How about the first one? Come on, Lou Ross. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> guys, coming up in one minute. Is that okay, Lou Ross? Oh, Come on, now we're backed up now. I need help. It was really frustrating for me to be up there because I just wanted to, like, jump in. And I knew I couldn't because the moment I, I step off my post, things are going to go down. Hey, Maddie, can you help Lou Ross on salads? He's running around a lot. Let's go. All right. You want to help me with uh, salad? Yeah. Where's your burger down here? Come on, let's go, guys. How much? Just that much? How much? Where's the serrano here, Matt? Serrano ham? Put it on top. Put it on top. That sucks. All right, so you pile it nice. Like, seriously, he was asking stupid questions. Just put plate. it on this plate. And it goes right on top of him. Just put it on top. I tell you, working with Matt, it was, like, really frustrating. No offense, but salad is easy. Come on, Matt. This yes, is not our first night service, is it? No, chef. Matt, yeah. shut it up. I need a plate. Come on. Yes, chef. Thank you. God. Matt's frantic and trying to figure out what he's doing. I have no idea how we're going to get through service. <laughs> service, please. We're going to table 54. While Christina's team stumbles through appetizers, over in Petrosa's kitchen, appetizers have already gone out to over half his customers. Pick up, please. Beautiful. Table 24, right? Let's go. A strudel sweet bread frisee. Yes, yeah, sure. I need the frisee salad bed. Oh, What? It's all the cheese I get. You might have to go down to one. You have no more frisee? Is that what you said? We don't have any more of the cheese right there. We don't have any more cheese. Not any of that blue cheese. We ran out of the cheese for the frisee salad. It was a nightmare. How many portions you got in order? Five. How many portions you got in there? I got four orders. Come on, Jen. My station was not prepped. So that wasn't my fault. And they shouldn't have ran out. It should have been enough there for me. She's got to count down. She's got to know what's in the fridge. Bobby's got to know how many strudel he's got. Ben's got to know how many steaks he's got, yes? Come on. Controls up. Yes. I can clear the board on the strudel, but that's it after that. What? We can't run out of strudel and the fridge salad. Oh, come on. Why didn't we say that earlier? Hey, what can we do? We can't take two appetizers off. Uh, now, I'm going to stop it in a minute, Petroza. No, 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 no. This is your night, yes? Petroza, are you done? You finished? No, I'm not finished. I swear to you, I'll stop it, yes? Uh... It's an hour and 15 minutes into the final dinner service, and Petroza has just run out of the ingredients for two of his three appetizers. We can't run out of strudel and the frisee salad. Oh, come on. Why didn't we say that earlier? running out like that was tearing me apart. It was ripping out my guts. Ah! Oh my God, what the hell do I do now? You have to make a decision now, yes? Yeah. Oh, come on. Patrosa, I swear to you, I'll stop it, yes? No, 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 no. 
Bobby, what else could you do for me, Bobby? Um, just give me something to wait waiting. Okay, okay, okay. I can, I can give you a result. Nice, good. Result. We had to bounce back. There's no getting away from it. You had to bounce back. Nice, nice. Good. Lobster risotto. Let's bang these appetizers out so we can do some entrees straight away. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thanks to some quick thinking, food is once again leaving the blue kitchen. Coming up with your salad. Pick up, please. Go ahead. And Petrosa's new appetizer. Oh, my gosh. Is a success. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Christina has started serving entrees. Let's get this going, guys. Get it out of the window. We got too many hands up here. Hold everything. Hello. Actually, you know, this is lukewarm-ish. Matt and Corey, two New York strip, two risotto, right away. I saw Christina's food come back to the past. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just cold and the, the butter is not melting. That's good for me. I'll take it. Keep bringing them back. Keep bringing them. Keep bringing them. Yeah, touch the steak. Touch the steak. That's yeah, cold. Come on, Christina. Let's go. Refire. Quick. This is serious now. I need one more New York strip. Refire right now. Matt. New garnish for one medium rare refire steak. Right away, right away, right away. Steak was sent back. I was so you know frazzled anyways trying to get my out. Because once one thing comes back, then the other stuff gets pushed back, and that's gonna just it's gonna be one big mess. Look all this food on here. Come on. Hold up, Matt. Put up your risotto and finish the garnish for two steaks, please. That's the easiest thing to do, yeah. Come on, now we're backed up now. Christina, turn it off, yes? Yes, chef. Come on. Two tickets, let's go. Come on, guys, let's get these steaks out. Come on, Matt, you got this. You know how to do this. We need that risotto now. Risotto's right here, chef. Thank you. I still need your refire coming up right now. Thank you. Service, please. The red team have caught up. They seem to be on top of their game now, which is great. Christina's come out herself, and she's become a little bit more assertive. Let's go, guys. Come on. We got our rhythm. Let's keep this up. Yeah. Christina has steered her kitchen through some bumpy waters, and her diners are now receiving their entrees. Is it mounting now? Oh, yeah, actually, thank you so much. Meanwhile, in Petroza's dining room, the customers are waiting. Petroza, come on, food's hanging around. And waiting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Petroza, yes? How long is that hot food going to stand there for? And waiting. Right now, you're gonna have to talk to somebody. Yeah, you can't yes. do it all on your own. Chef Ramsey kept telling me to ask for help later. I was hesitant to ask them because I didn't want to take them away from their stations. You got a brigade there. Use them. But Chef Ramsey's right, and I understand. Just get the food out and get it out right. I need some help dressing the six stop, you guys. Come on, coming to you, patrols. Jen, come on over here. Do the filet mignon in the end, please. Give me that. Pick up on a basket of filet mignon. Filet coming down. Petroza deserves it. He really, uh, I'm out to win it for the guy. I got his back. I'm going to do my best for him. Good, that's good, that's good. Okay, let's go. With a little help from his friends, Petroza's entrees are leaving the kitchen. All right, go. And his diners are thrilled. Their long wait is over. All right, here we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Here you go, Chef. Meanwhile. Matt, Monkfish is raw. Yes, yeah, Chef. Fix it. Yes, yeah, Chef. Christina, well spotted. You keep it in the kitchen. Fix it raw. Monkfish came up raw. Raw, raw, raw. All right, come on, Maddie. I just feel like, you know, I have to watch Matt's every move. You know, it's like, come on. We've done this a lot of times. It's raw in the middle, Matt. Yes, Chef. How can you do that to her? Shut up already. Safe. Tastes good. That's what counts. Now it was kind of, you know, as soon as he gets yelled at, he's mumbling under his breath to Chef. I'm doing my best. I can't stand here and let that go. Right. Yes, Chef. Too important. Shut the up. You ain't still my thunder. I look at Matt and I'm just like, bro, what are you talking about? Just keep no, it's Jenny, come on, you. come on, I mean, shh, concentrate, concentrate, baby. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Useless. Shut up. What the f is going on? Hey, hey, come here, you. Yeah? Sorry, yeah, chef. Hey, hey, listen to me, hey, face. Come here, I said. Yeah, would you mind shut the f up? Just concentrate. Yes, chef. While Matt plays with the fire, Petroza desperately seeks... One onion ring. That's the only thing holding the table up. You got the onion ring, Jen? Yeah, it's coming. Come on, Jen. All I'm waiting for the fifth table is one onion ring. I know. What the... Jen was killing me. Tons of crummy attitude. It's terrible waiting to send out a whole table. And I'm waiting on one onion ring from Jen. Let's go. Right here. Here, thank you. Oh. Okay. What is that? I need a crispy onion ring. I got a dead one here. I need a better one. Come on, put up a decent onion ring. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Come on, Jen, let's go. Yeah, I, I am, Chef. 
She's in a huh? You want one of these to take your dream away? Let's go. Come on. Come on, Jan. What are you doing to me, man? Onion rings. You're frying onion rings. Come on. This crazy, man. Jen. Yes, chef. Hey, listen. There's no need to be disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful, chef. Oh. Uh, one arm, I could have done a better job than Jen did on that station. I got meat getting cold here. Hey, look at me. Come in. Right now, you got one awkward bitch in your kitchen. Organize it and get on top of it, yes? Jen, just do your please. Cook the food. Just cook the food. Just shut up. Cook the food. Thank you, Petroza. Miss Sabotage. Where's my onion ring, Jen? Here, your onion ring. It's two hours in the final dinner service in House Kitchen. And with Petroza's entrees going out, he has now served 10 of his 13 tables. All right, thank you. Christina has only served eight of her tables and is now rushing to catch up. All right, Natty, you're giving me a heart attack. How's that monkfish? Come in right now, Chef. Monkfish on the pass. Matt! Yeah, Chef. This monkfish is not cooked. Oh, no, come on. Not on a night like tonight. Come on. I had it cooked for over five minutes in there. Don't argue you. Fix it now. I feel like I definitely got screwed by working with Matt. Me. You need to shape up or get out of my kitchen. Every dish counts, Christina, and he's sending you raw monkeys here again. Hey, Matt, I'm not laughing, big boy. I'm not laughing either. Well, I'll kick you out. Shit, now, let me cook. Right now, hey, you're getting screwed by him in there. Hey, I'll tell him if you want me to. Hey, no, look at me. Chef, hey, I'll it. run it. It's the final night in Hell's Kitchen, and over two hours into dinner service, Christina's kitchen is at a standstill. Matt, this monkfish is not cooked. And Chef Ramsay is ready to take matters into his own hands. Hey, you're getting screwed by him in there. I'll tell him if you want me to. Hey, no, look at chef, me. Hey, I got I'll it. run it. Every dish counts, Christina, and he's sending you raw monkfish here again. Run your brigade. Yes, yeah, Chef. Matt, I need one more portion of monkfish. I need it right now. Give me those two thin tail pieces firing for me right now. Shit. No, let me cook. First of all, it wasn't a raw piece of fish. It was just a little part of it that was still technically a little raw. Right in the crevice of the fish. Two pieces, and I want it now. You got it. Let's go. I don't know what Matt's problem with the monkfish was. Six minutes and cooking. Matt, this is my night, and I'm not going to let you ruin it. Monkfish perfectly cooked? Yeah. Great. Service, please. With Matt back on track, Christina pushes her team to get out their final entrees. Perfect food, most important. Yes, yes chef. chef. Matt, you are two perfect risottos away from your last health kitchen service. Come on. Perfect, Matt. Right now it comes into the service and it's really seriously neck and neck. This is the critical part of the service. Right now it's anyone's game. Desserts away on tables 22 and 26. Yes, Chef. Come on, turn yes, it yes. off, yes? Come on! Two tickets, let's go! In, let's go! How are 25 desserts doing, Bobby? One minute out, Chef. Service, please. Put some lead in your step. Just because it's the last table, that means you can crawl. Let's go. Pick up, please. All right, you guys, come on, last table. Oh, that looks great. Mine's the best. Really? That's really good. Good job. What a night. What a night. Petroza, Christina, job well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Honestly, this evening, more highs than lows, clearly. Give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, obviously tonight, only one winner. One of you will become the executive chef of my new restaurant in the London West Hollywood. Your new job. Petros and Christina, turn around, say goodbye to your brigade, and go upstairs to the dorms. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you so much. I think we did a really good job. We had some ups and downs during our service, but I really just tried to stay in control of my brigade, so hopefully it was enough. Good luck, Petrosa. We finished strong. I really do feel pretty good about it. I feel like I got a good shot at this. I think I've got an edge, but you know what? I can never be certain. Back to the dorm, all right? Hi, guys. Hi, right, guys. Take these. Thanks for me. God, I just want to do this.
waiting and not knowing it's torture. You know, it's like been building and building and building. Come on. I definitely want this. How close am I? You're really close. Oh, my God. I want to win. I want to win. I want to win bad. Now it's Chef Ramsay's decision, the, the ultimate final decision. Tonight's winner will be determined by comment cards and Chef Ramsay's overall observations. What choice are? Who's standing there going cold? Bobby, little foil on and reheat in the convection. Check everything before it comes to me. Stick your finger in everything. Touch everything. Everything, absolutely. Yeah, such a mistake, such a mistake. Yes, come, on. come on, Christine, let's go. Three, five. This is serious now. Let's go, guys. Come on. We got our rhythm. Let's keep this up. Yes, yes chef. Perfect food. Most important. Here we go. Nervous, Pete? Are you nervous? Yeah. I don't want to lose Christina. Christina's a kid. A very, very talented kid, but she's a kid. All right. Final moment. Here we go. I think, in the end, the best cook is going to win. And I really hope that's me. Last two standing. Making this decision has been sheer agony for me. I went back and forth a number of times. Clearly, you both have strengths. And without a shadow of doubt, two very worthy finalists. And after getting to know you both and watching you grow throughout Hell's Kitchen, I know both of you are going to go on to great success. It's now time for my decision. Christina, Patroza, step up to the doors. Good luck. Good luck, Pete. The person whose door opens will be the executive chef at my new restaurant. A position worth a quarter of a million dollars. Are you both ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put your hand on the door and do not turn the handle. Today's the biggest night of my life. I came here to win. I came here to win. Oh, my goodness. It's go time. Oh, God, please open. Please be me. Please be me. On the count of three, open the door to your dream. Oh, my God. One. Open the door to your dream. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One. Two. Different levels. I can't even explain it. Okay, mom and dad, I guess you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'll be okay. I know. I know. Look at me. Well done. Huh? Really well done. Huh? Let's go. It's been a tough journey. It's been hard. It's been painful. It's been long. But it's been good. It's been good. Congratulations. Thank you, Pete. Congratulations. Oh. I've met so many beautiful people. So many beautiful people. How priceless is that? Oh, God, I'm happy. Good one for you guys. Good job. Betty, good one for you guys. I wouldn't be here.
really happy. It's almost like a fairy tale, you know? I guess it really does happen to people, even big goobers like me. Mom, you must be so happy. Hey. Oh. Well done. Christina had the least amount of experience coming into Hal's kitchen, but I saw something in her that was quite special. She had the best potential across any other chef in Hal's kitchen, and in my business, I think long term. I definitely, definitely made the right choice. That's for you. Thank you, Sam. Mostly what I would like to say to Chef Ramsay is thank you for your trust and your faith in me. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Hell's Kitchen, Christina. I feel like I've been on a roller coaster for the last three months. Of all the Hell's Kitchens, this has been the one with the most ups and downs. But we ended on a high. And right now, it's time for me to get the out of Hell's Kitchen. Look for it. Hell's Kitchen Season 1 now available on DVD everywhere.